Hello from SPY in San Francisco. I'm Robin Schumacher with Laser Therapy University, and I'm very pleased to be standing here next to James Carroll, the CEO of Thor Photo Medicine. Thanks for joining me. Um, I think we would like to know how you feel, how the conference is going, first off. Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> There's such variation, isn't there? We've got a lot of people repeating uh, the general news for all the new people, and that must be very exciting for them to walk into a room and see people talking about traumatic brain injury one minute, regenerating the eye, doing wound healing, regenerating the bone. Mine was about nerve regeneration. I mean, cancer stem cells. Cancer I stem saw cells. that one. Yeah. So, uh, and that always, uh, I think, worries some people because they, uh, they wouldn't believe anything that appears to do everything. Right. And what I would tell an audience at that point is that it doesn't do everything. It does one thing particularly well, and all these diseases tend to have one thing in common, and that usually is oxidative stress. And this light is so good at getting rid of oxidative stress, which is the cause basically of inflammation, cell death, cancer, the aging process, I'm not claiming a cure for cancer, but the causes of the initial causes of cancer, to be able to reduce oxidative stress. No wonder it has such a broad range of application. It doesn't do everything. It does one thing really well. And all these diseases have this one thing in common. That is a perfectly well point to make because so mm. many people do look at it as voodoo science because of all the claims that are made yes but it is it's that basically that one issue that we have to work on yeah um you've been doing a lot of research for many years you've mm. been involved as a reviewer on mm. a few journals you present all over the world yes quite well traveled anything new and exciting that you'd like to share i think uh in the last I mean, it evolves because every year or two you begin to see new things. I suppose if you'd said to me five years ago, what's new, I'd be saying you know, traumatic brain injury. And what would I be saying ten years ago? It would be spinal cord injuries and that kind of thing. Uh, um, in between times, I would say, oh, um, you know, post-myocardial infarction. Um, the thing that's surprising me at the moment, moment all over the last few years coming through I mean, I hardly even dare get into it. I mean, it's, it's, already it sounds like it does too much, you know, but it's what it does for cardiometabolic risk factors. So what it, basically your risk of getting stroke or having a heart attack or developing diabetes. When people get enough light in their body, these risk factors seem to go down, you know, and combined with ex exercise, it gets even better. So uh, that seems to be the, the new one for me at the moment and who knows where we're going in a few more years time and I hate that it sounds like voodoo because w what else would claim does everything right. other than voodoo it, it's 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 no it's simple it deals with oxidative stress and then no wonder a lot of things respond to that so do you think maybe if we were I mean we're all involved in this for the long haul right we all want to promote this do we need to focus on one thing and get it through that door in to open that door for the rest? In theory, uh, yes. I don't think you're going to get industry to do that. Um, I think that uh, Clark Tedford from Lumithera is probably going to be the... F we'll, we'll get it across the line with macular degeneration. Uh, he really is focused on one disease. That's the work we've just seen with Janice Hells, talking right. about macular degeneration and other diseases of the eye. So I think that's probably going to be the one that gets, when that gets across the line, then I think the second one and third one will be easier. And then when you've got like three, four, five diseases across the line, which basically means across the line means part of standard care, fully reimbursed. Yeah. Uh, then I think uh, it'll just get easier thereafter because people will begin to accept light as a, a regular mainstream therapeutic intervention. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure talking to you. It's a thrill for me too. <laughs>